Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Freeways Interchange Design for Autonomous Vehicles. I have stumbled across this game and uh, it's a little bit of fun, but I've got to admit it's the sort of game that looks a lot easier than it actually is. I was watching someone else playing this and I was thinking, do you know who's a complete pro at this game? Me. That's who. But it turns out I'm actually not very good at designing road interchanges. Uh, but this game, very minimalistic, very simple, and so much fun. You've got to connect all the roads together, right? If you click on the little signs, it tells you where people want to go. So they want to go over there. Let's give them a road. And you've got to use the mouse, and you've got to try and make your road nice and smooth. That was a very smooth connection. Very good. Now, this one wants to go over there. We can make that happen nice and easy. Just go straight across. And here's where things get a little bit tricky. The ending of that road was terrible. When this car gets over to that side... Uh, it is going to have a little bit of trouble turning the corner. There it goes. Bam. So that slows it down a little bit. Now this one right here wants to connect to both of them. So one of these is kind of obvious. The other one not so much. Nice smooth transition connecting to that road there. Very good. Very good I must say. Now the next one requires us to use ramps down the bottom here to go up and down. So I'm going to click. We're going to drag from over here. I'm going to press A on the keyboard. And I've got to let go first. Then we go over here. Do I press A again or do I press Z? Z to go down? Excellent. Now a nice big smooth turn into that right there. Amazing. Network complete. All right, we did it. Let's see what happens. Uh, we can actually speed this next bit up. <laughs> Look at all those cars go. Amazing, right? Well, it's going to simulate as it's telling us. And then it tells us the efficiency right there. 215. I'll tell you what, if you're playing this game yourself, uh, you, you let me know if you got better than 215. I think that's a pretty good score. It's better than last time I did it. And uh, I've also got that little wiggle in the road there that's going to slow things down. Uh, but anyway, this map, uh, sorry, this game isn't free to play, by the way. I found it on a website, so uh, I'll put a link to it in the description box down below, just in case you're wondering. Video isn't sponsored or anything like that. I just, you know, like to support uh, games that I enjoy, I guess. Right, now, things get a little bit more tricky. We want to go top... And to the right there, we want to go up and down and here, we want to go over those sides. And uh, some of you are probably absolute whizzes at this sort of thing and have figured out a really good and efficient way that I could do this. But I am not a whiz, and so I'm going to do the best that I can. And that involves making what's probably going to be a horribly janky interchange. We just about made it around there. Okay, nice and smooth. Keep it smooth. My mouse spill spills? <laughs> My mouse skills ain't so great. Um, so we've got those two connected up. Now we need to get these next two. And here's where things are going to get really hairy. So we're going to branch off and go over there. And the next one that wants to go over there would be this one, right? And I'm really not thinking about this, just to make it clear. We're going we're gonna to branch off the side. Then we're going to go up. We're going to turn over here. And then we're going to go down. And we're going to join that road there. So that, that could be good. It could be bad. Uh, the thing is, we now need to get this road all the way around to here and down onto this one. So let's drag it out. Let's go across the water. Uh, let's not bring it... Well, yeah, no, we won't bring it back down just yet. We're going to curl around the corner here. <laughs> this is terrible design. Don't take lessons. And I've gone up by mistake. Well, let's go down. I would really like a, an undo button in this game. That's my feature request right there. Hi. That's uh, a really janky connection. I, I agree, it's terrible. If I click here, we can drag out from that road. We can go uh, down and connect here. And that is the network complete. Look at that super janky road network. Now here, there seems to be a, a fair bit of traffic, right? They're going through quite slow. But if we speed it up, all of a sudden it looks very speedy. And it is simulating, and I want to know what kind of a... 269. Ladies and gentlemen, take lessons from X. That is better than the last time we did it, and this thing is more complicated. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, well, back to the menu then. Let's click on that thing. There's, there's nine of these in total. I'm going to try and play them all in this one video. And uh, sometimes I'm going to have to make cuts, as I believe I might do in this one, because we have, oh goodness me, four different connections and this thing on the side. And if we look at the way the roads are laid out, like this is on the right-hand side, that's on the right-hand side, so is this one. And then that one's like, nope, I'm going to be the other way around, because I was thinking roundabout. Should we try and do it with a roundabout? I'm going to click somewhere here on the map. I realised I was just pointing at stuff and you couldn't see it because the mouse cursor doesn't record for me. And if it does, it appears on the wrong part of the screen. Classic X problem. 
I just upgraded my computer again, and I still have the same problem. It's ridiculous. Anyway, um, we're going to make a connection like that. So anything that wants to go out can now do so. Down here, we're going to make... Oh, that was a little bit not very smooth, was it? Okay, and also, I don't know how to delete roads once you've built them, so that's the thing. Uh, but those two are in place. The next one, I guess, would be this. We're going to go that way a little bit, and then try and get that nice and smooth. You're going to connect. You're connected. Uh, on the opposite side, we're going to come out like that. Go up there. So these can all connect to all of those places thanks to the roundabout in the middle. Now where it gets tricky is that the off-ramp for that one uh, would be somewhere around here. So let's drag out like that. Oh, I don't think I've done that very well. Uh, but we can, we can live with it. So if we go here and go up. Up, I say. No. Oh, I, did I undo that? Oh, it won't let me go up. How horribly disappointing. So I rebuilt the map, and then I've realized, oh, there's no up or down in this one. So I think what we should do is drag this one around to the side, turn the corner, and go like that. Uh, that actually looks really bad now. And then that's going to connect like so. <laughs> oh, I can see this being bad already. Putting them both together was probably a terrible idea. Now, we'll put our exit on this side over here, but I believe that is going to cause some problems and probably a lot of overlapping traffic, let's say. Uh, the other thing that we need to do is create a connection over here. Now, I'm going to add one like that. For anything coming through here, it's got a slip road over there. I guess you would call that. And then off the main junction, we'll go around like that. And that's the network complete. Cool. All right. Now, it looks very backed up over here. Do we want to make some modifications? Uh, yes, we do. I want to just add... Yeah, is that okay? Is that allowed? And then things can slip through there. And hopefully that means the traffic moves a little quicker. Oh, this thing looks genuinely terrible. Let's speed it up. It's simulating. There's clearly lots of backing up of traffic. Oh, no, it's all backed up. The efficiency is going to be terrible. No, it's not. It's 279. That's some amazing efficiency right there. Oh, awesome stuff. I love that it tells you about how much concrete you've used as well. Because I could have added like extra little slip roads, which probably would have made a big difference. In fact, I can still add the slip roads. So if anything wants to go from here to there. It's now got license to do so. Um, if anything wants to go here to there, it can bypass the entire roundabout. Where else could I add a couple of these? Probably not too many other places. These are both exits, so that might literally be it. I might also be able to add like a shortcut from one side of the roundabout to the other, but I think that's going to cause more problems than it solves, so we won't do that. Um, so here we go again. Speed it up. 279 is the score to beat. Uh, I see cars using the slip road over on this side and on that side. 289. You know, was it worth the extra concrete? I don't know. But we're going to go back to the back to the map. And we're going to play another one. And I love how they all connect overall. It looks ever so cool when you come out to this. Uh, so what have we got going on over here? Can I use the ups and downs? I can. The menu's been put on the other side. Uh, and everything wants to go to those things. Again, I think every time I play this, it's going to be like roundabout, roundabout. Do you know what I mean? Um, so I think we'll try... Not to do a roundabout, however, on this one, th this one of all of them, I want to use a roundabout for, surely. So being the absolute madman that I am, I've made a terrible decision here, because we need connections like that now. And then the other place that this needs to go is over to the bottom side down here. So we could create a branch, go around like this, and drop back down onto that one. So now I can go straight ahead, up to the side down here, but then again... I've also got to be able to go over to this place and down to that one here. So I actually think a roundabout is probably the most sensible way of doing this. So let's do it with a giant roundabout. Um, I say giant. How good am I at making big circles? That is a wonky looking donut. <laughs> but it'll do. So connection at the bottom and an off connection. Very good. Same at the top over here. Now, we've got to leave a little bit more space for these connections on the side. So, let's get that one in. Uh, this one over here will come in. We'll, we'll connect nice and smooth. And then we'll have our little off branch. Okay, and then we've got to add, with not a lot of space, something like that. This one comes around and then goes that way. Because remember, this has got to be able to exit at any of these different points. It's got to fit nicely in there. And yeah, I think a roundabout was blatantly the way you were supposed to do this. Now over here, I'm going to lean up a little, just so we've got a little bit more space down below. And then coming off of there, nice and smooth. 
And now let's make sure we get the next bit right. The off has got to be here. And the on has got to go up into that space. And then over like that. Network complete. Yeah, I don't think you could have done that without a roundabout. Or maybe a roundabout and a few other junctions as well. Uh, but we get to speed this thing up now. And roundabouts are amazing. That looks really efficient to me. I'm telling you now, that looks like some good efficiency going on. 569. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, take your lessons from X. I told you it was about a roundabout. And also, there's a pick option. What does that do? I've not seen that before. Ah. Oh, that's cool. It can teach you. I have driven through a, through a thing like that, and it's called a dumbbell interchange. Because, yeah, it kind of looks like a dumbbell. You know, the, the weights on either side with the bar through the middle. Oh, that's pretty clever. So was that what we were supposed to make there? Should I try and make that on one of the next ones? Let's think about that. Let's think about using two roundabouts instead of just one. So what's next? This doesn't look like a place for two roundabouts. And it kind of looks like the same. It's just sort of been laid out a little different. So I'll have a think on this one. Peeps, I think I might be a little bit crazy. If you think I'm a bit crazy, go down to the comments. Hashtag CrazyX. So nice little connection there. Nice little connection over there. I wonder if we could have used this as a through road, though, and instead of having that round the side. Let's see how the traffic behaves on the road. That might give us a little bit of an insight. And then here, I think what we'll actually do is go like back round like that and then connect there. The reason being that a connection from over this side might be desirable. So... We're going to start a new bit of road. Come in like that. That's a bit of a sharp turning off, I know. Smooth connection over here. Um, and then... Mm, we've got to think about what way around this goes, don't we? Let's create an off-ramp here like that. And on this side, what we're going to do is use a little bit of height. Which we haven't done already. And then connect like that just before that bit. And the network is complete. And let's see what the cars do. So they are actually going through there. I believe... Oh, no, no, one's going around the side, so maybe you do need this extra road around here. Yeah, because some are going down that way and some aren't. Interesting stuff. This might have not been the best place to exit as well. I mean, it means they can go that way quickly. So maybe having multiple exits could have been faster. Right, I think I know what we're going to do here. I think we're going to check our score, and then we're going to go back and play it again, basically. So what are we getting? 190, not good enough. Not good enough. I feel like a mad scientist now, just going absolutely crazy and putting connections everywhere. We don't even need to talk about that. It's ridiculous looking. And it's a bit janky here. I think it's just the way the connections were on the road. Looks like a lot of red cars come out of here trying to exit there. And yes, uh, that's how you tell where a car is going, by the way. It's colour-coded. It just hit me like a slap in the face. And I thought, how long have I been playing this game for? Anyway, it's time to go back to the map, because that thing looks mental. And it's time to go over in this direction and play the last three of these. Uh, now, an interchange like this, we could do with two roundabouts, right? Let's see if I can pull that one off. I hate making circles so much, because I'm so bad at it. I wish there were some tools to help you make the roads a bit smoother, but I think that would sort of remove the charm of this game, right? Now, I think what we want to do is have a connection like this going to there. This isn't the same as the dumbbell one that we saw, but I'm hoping that'll do the trick. <laughs> this just looks super overcomplicated. I reckon it should have just been perhaps one roundabout instead of two. If that doesn't even make sense to have it like this, I think no cars are actually going to go through those two middle bits at all, basically. The way I've set it up. Anyway, it's done now. The network is complete. Let's find out how laughable this one was. Oh, it's very laughable. Oh, they didn't use those rings at all. Um, I do have an idea, though. Might it be slightly effective if there was a connection through the middle as well? Probably not. So it goes round... Oh, I don't even know what I'm doing now. No, I'm going to do that, and I don't think that helps at all. Uh, sort of. <laughs> they use it, that's for sure, and we're going to go from 63, 114. Genius. Almost doubled that efficiency. You see, I was using my noggin, I added an extra little road. Um, I, th I think that road is very derpy. <laughs> Uh, you can have loads of fun replaying this game, just trying many different things. And again, a roundabout comes to mind. But let's not do that this time, because we've only got three intersections and also a giant question mark up here. What's what's going on over here? That's just space I'm not allowed to use. 
You know, a moment ago I said I wouldn't use a roundabout, but I've had a really cool idea for how we could use a roundabout here. Let's do that again, but let's try and free up lots of space in the middle. So we're going to really open this one up. Okay. Oh, that was a bit wonky at the end there. Going to come back in. And now we're going to put a roundabout in the middle here. Okay. <laughs> this feels bad as I'm doing it. And then we're going to add connections to the roundabout. On and off. Oh, this is so weird. So it's like a highway to there, but you can use the roundabout in the middle to get on and off at different places. Yeah, this was clearly a bad idea. But I'm going to stick with it. Come on, connect. Bam, and then the one off. And that's it. The network is complete. And it kind of looks cool. Just a little bit janky. Let's speed it up. Uh, they're struggling to get through there a little bit. Look at that green line, because it's got to go yucky like that, doesn't it? 272. That's all right. That's all right. That was an interesting design. Another roundabout. What are we going to do? Have we got one left? Oh, no. We've only got one left to play, peeps. And it's the same thing again with one over here. So, basically, it's another four interchanges. And we'll try and do the double roundabout thing here. That's what we're going to try and do. And I... Yeah, it didn't do that very well. Do you know what I was just about to say? This is some beautiful engineering here, and then I went and messed up the ramps. Uh, we're going to do it this way, not going for the two roundabouts. This is going to look quite obvious to me. So you can go straight through, or you can go on the roundabout to go somewhere else, like if you needed to go back to the same place. So if we add these two connections to the roundabout, uh, then you should be able to go everywhere through the roundabout. So let's add that. I failed! I've failed myself. I've failed myself miserably. All right, I've rebuilt it hastily, and it's uh, not so bad. These connections are a little bit tight together, which is probably going to cause, you know, some traffic issues. Uh, the further out they are from one another, I think that will probably work better. And then in this space, just about there, we want to come off, go down, and that's the network complete. We did it. I was, I was right. Um, but it looks like, it looks like, oh. Oh, it's actually pretty good. It's actually pretty good. It kind of looks like the blue ones go through there a lot of the time. Uh, 296. Well, can we increase the efficiency even just a tiny bit? I think what we'll do is we'll add some extra roads like this. Okay, so that... Oh, no, you're going to connect. Uh, that's kind of worrying. I might have made that worse. Then another one over here, like a bit of a slip road to take traffic off of the uh, this thing right here. And also, it looks like these cars going like that are kind of slowing things down a bit. So let's add in a little road there. And now it looks really swish. <laughs> swish. That's, that's the word I'm going to use. 317. And peeps, I think that's where we're going to wrap this video up. If you've enjoyed this video, then leave a like. And I have just found out that when you do all of those, there's more levels. So maybe, maybe I'll make uh, another video. I don't know. Leave a like. Leave an encouraging comment if you enjoyed this and you want to see more. And maybe we'll do it. Uh, I'm going to have a quick peek and see. Oh, oh, it looks challenging. Okay, that's that's it. I'll tell you what. We'll have another little peek together. What about this one over here? Oh, wow. Okay, this game gets a whole lot crazier. Well, that's it for me this video. Thank you for watching. Maybe I'll see you in another one. Bye-bye.